Our panelist for today is Dr. Muhammad Hafiz Muhammad Hanif. He has earned his PhD in education at the University of Warwick in London. He is currently a senior lecturer in educational technology at University Pindidikan Sultan Idris, Malaysia. He is a full stack JavaScript developer and a freelance graphic designer. He also holds the position of the director of Sikola Makmal or the Laboratory School of UPSI and the coordinator of Future Classroom and Educational Technology Unit and a website e-learning. He is also a web developer of Malaysian Consultative Council of Islamic Organization. Again, one of our speakers for this morning is Dr. Muhammad Hafiz Muhammad Hanif. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Daryl Roy, uh, the, the director uh, for the Institute uh, of Teaching and Learning. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. Uh, so, and thank you also the Philippines Normal University for this opportunity uh, for hosting this, you know, quite a uh, very, very useful event for the Asian country. And also, uh, you know, for the panelists, for the other panelists from the Brunei, uh, Cambodia, and also Laos. All right, okay. Um, and for this uh, session, um, other panelists uh, and keynote speakers have already explained, um, you know, in greater details about, you know, other concepts uh, and, and other tools that are, you know, extremely important and uh, very, very much useful within this context of pandemic uh, COVID-19. So with that in light, I would like to share uh, from a practical uh, point of view where I will share, um, you know, an instructional design strategy that I have prepared for my students for this semester. All right. Uh, so uh, the um, title for the sharing session is the case of a subject KPD 3016. All right. Uh, for this subject, KPD 3016, it's a compulsory university course uh, for those who are in the uh, teacher education program in UPSI. So this course is 100% coursework and there, there is no exam. And this is uh, carrying, uh, carrying forward from the pre-pandemic uh, you know, era. Uh, so this subject is 100% coursework and for uh, this semester, my students are uh, from the TESOL program. So from the TESOL program, uh, as you can see, the 100% coursework uh, have, you know, several, uh, you know, coursework uh, aligned and task aligned for them. Uh, so in line with the uh, standard operational procedure that has been outlined by the Malaysian National Security Council and uh, you know, the guideline um, issued by the Ministry of Higher Education in Malaysia, all face-to-face -face classes need to be cancelled and stopped and carried out online. So in UPC, in UPSI, we understand that not all students, uh, you know, have equal access to the internet. So what we did was we, at the start of the pandemic around March or April, uh, the, the, the pandemic lockdown, I mean, uh, in Malaysia, we did a survey on, uh, on students' uh, access to the internet. So as a result, we have uh, a series of a mix of uh, results um, stating that, you know, uh, there are certain portion of the students are not able to actually, um, you know, have, have a good access to the internet. Uh, apparently, in some areas in Malaysia, there are still poor, uh, you know, uh, internet access in terms of bandwidth, lower bandwidth. All right. So they can't really support, uh, you know, video streaming and things like that. So what we have uh, catered for them, uh, for UPSI, for those who are who have poor connection, we see, switch the teaching and learning mode to uh, remote learning, where we send materials uh, to them by email. So what we what we did was we've gathered all of the materials for all of the courses, and we've put it in a thumb drive, and we've shipped out that thumb drives to all of the students who, you know, have you know, difficulty in terms of accessing the, uh, you know, materials that we have prepared uh, online. So uh, the assessment wise uh, for that, we also need to revise uh, because most of the courses have uh, final exams. So, um, so within this uh, pandemic era, 
it's not possible to have you know face to face kind of like the normal uh, examination in in, in 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 the usual sense so what we've done we we had to actually revise uh, uh, the whole assessment uh, component for each uh, courses and to suit the current situation so most of the courses opt for a uh, uh, final examination but it's in a different form where we, uh, we where we allow the students uh, to actually work on the uh, exams tasks and, and, and questions for a set period of time. So for example, uh, before this in final exam, we have three hours maximum for them to work on the task. Now within this uh, you know, situation, we've allowed them 48 hours to actually finish up the task. So that is one of the examples uh, for the uh, final, uh, final assessment. Assessment, we, we don't really say it final exam right now. All right. So my situation is my uh, my, uh, my my almost all of my students have good to excellent uh, sec, uh, access to um, internet connection. So some are uh, residing in uh, the residential uh, colleges in around campus, and others situated situated at various locations around Malaysia. All right. So uh, at the beginning of the semester, I had this epiphany because all of the lecturers have to do the online classes. So the online classes uh, before this is, is it's something that is different, something that is new, but in this pandemic era lockdown, it's, it's the new normal. So everybody is doing it. So there, there is a possibility of students being bored uh, with all of the online classes, right? So. Uh, what I did was I analyzed uh, the background of my students. So my students are all TESOL students, 24 of them. And uh, I have the upper hand here because uh, I uh, was previous, previously a TESOL graduate. So I know a bit about what they, uh, they have covered within their curriculum. So I've jumped uh, to the opportunity of creating an immersive environment for, 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 for my students, for my uh, TESOL students that suit them. So um, what I did was that I transformed the whole semester into a Harry Potter film. All right. Okay. So it was a huge gamble because I, I, I the, the students might not be, you know, familiar with the film or the novel. Uh, it's, it's my risky. It's my, uh, it's my luck probably that only just two or three students are not really familiar with the franchise. Uh, but other students are big fans of the books and films. So uh, whenever, uh, you know, these uh, two or three students, uh, you, know, uh, you know, were confused with the terminologies that we shared within the group, other students jumped in and helped them, right? That's, that's, the, that's the beauty of it. And I renamed the course from Pedagogy, Technology and Assessment to the Hogwarts School of Teaching Crafts and Technology. So just to provide the setting and the mood for the whole semester. So this is the actual plan. The whole this is this is still running. The semester is still running. We are at uh, we are entering week seven. All right. So this is the whole semester's planned. So within this uh, subject, we have three components: pedagogy, technology, and assessment. Uh, and I have uh, planned it out so that it uh, coincides with the. Um, uh, you know the component the familiar familiar components that we can find in the harry potter films the first being the hogwarts exploration so uh, the hogwarts exploration is about pedagogical exploration so i've also used clips from the film uh, if, if you have watched some of the harry potter films you know that there are shots uh, where uh, the students are in the classroom so I've used those, cl those, those clips from those films to actually illustrate the kinds of pedagogical design that is underlying behind that, right? So for Quidditch, Quidditch matches, so this is basically quiz, but I have re-wrapped it around, you know, the notion of having uh, battles, uh, you know, Quidditch matches, Quidditch battles uh, between the, uh, the groups, okay, the houses within the Hogwarts, uh, um, the schools the port key creation so this is the technological part of it if you are a Harry Potter fan you know the port key is uh, you know materials that uh, you know which or, or, or students use to 
teleport from one place to another. So I've used that, uh, you know, um, that kind of like idea to actually ask the students to build a portal, a web portal for teaching English, right? And the uh, assessment module comes within the uh, understanding the mod uh, Marauders map. Okay, so that is the assessment part where the students have to map the content and also building so and also build suitable items for tests and exams. Uh, the last part, the finding horcruxes, it's like um, you know uh, making everything jive together, understanding of pedagogy, technology, and also assessment and how it works in, in interrelatedly. All right. So uh, the platform of choice for this, I have chosen Discord. So Discord is uh, originally developed for gamers and gaming community for them to actually communicate with each other. But I found that you know the features within that platform can cater to my needs. Uh, you know within this setup, this Hogwarts setup. So what I have uh, used are rules. So within Discord, we you can we can actually assign roles for the students. So when I assign the roles for the students, as you can see in the screen on the screen, we have head of Gryffindors up to head of Slytherin and members of Gryffindor up to members of Slytherin. So this is how I uh, segmentize the students up uh, to uh, to the four houses of the Hogwarts. So this enables a more granular granular kind of like um, control over the students and also the task. And this is a screenshot of the welcome uh, page in my Discord channel. So uh, this is basically where I ask the students to customize their avatar. Uh, and as you can see at the uh, right hand side of the screen capture, there are avatars there. All right. So those are my students. Um, and the fun part of using Discord is that you can actually uh, see who's online and who's, uh, and, and who's offline. So uh, when you do, uh, you know, we have a set of timetables, right? So at that uh, particular time, you, we can actually uh, see who's is online, who's offline. So we can actually monitor them. That's the beauty of it. And uh, these are, uh, you know, a screen, cap screen capture of the various channels that I have uh, um, structured uh, within uh, my server, Discord server. So there are the four houses, okay? uh and this is where they uh, they carry out group based discussion and strategize to for the next quidditch uh, match okay and the communal area so for the communal area we have the where they ha can have a light chit chat not necessarily uh you know connected to what what the subject is so the course is house points is where i uh, display the uh, current status of the uh, points for each of the houses. So this is uh, where the gamification comes in. New Scamander's briefcase. Uh, so this is something that I have uh, done for them to actually uh, as a space for them to share any other resources that, that, that uh, they, they found online that might be beneficial for them or that can help them to actually curate better lesson plans. So they, they've been uh, sharing a lot of, you know, platforms and tools uh, that, that I've also uh, not, not, haven't been discovered yet, right? And also the live stream room. So this is uh, uh, where I do voice and also video live stream. But I prefer voice live stream because it, it, um, uh, it takes just, uh, you know, lower bandwidth. Uh, so it, uh, it will not take up much more data uh, from the students themselves. So uh, this is a screenshot for uh, example of the uh, voice live stream, okay? Uh, and this is uh, one of the, uh, the the students in one of the Quidditch uh, matches. This is where we're battling to determine who has the best lesson design ideas. So some some of them uh, adopt inquiry based learning activities. Uh, some of them are very straightforward. Uh, so this is where. You know, even though they they have situated, uh, you know, uh, all all over across Malaysia, but within this uh, platform, they can actually share their ideas, work within groups, and you know, uh, buckle up and uh, you know the the sort of uh, the sense of cam camaraderie to actually uh, uh, work towards uh, getting points for their houses. That is what I uh, that is what I really really 
you know treasure this this kind of uh, lesson design strategy um and this is the house points uh the one that i have uh shared to you just now so this is just a sample uh and students found it very motivating to work uh, to work together in each houses to outdo uh, other houses right so uh this is where uh you know i motivate them and this is sample rubric for one of the activities okay uh so discord is very limited in terms of this this so what I've done is I've used external services like for for, for example, this is a uh, Google Sheet uh, that I've shared with uh, the students inside the Discord to complement uh, you know the setup. And this is uh, these are these are the feedbacks. So as you can see, the students are very much open, uh, welcome to the idea of you know having a role play for the. For the whole of the semesters, uh, this is something, uh, according to them, this is something that is very new for them. None of the lecturers uh, have, have tried this before. And this is something that I want to achieve, actually, because, you know, uh, as, at, at the start of my uh, presentation, my sharing session just now, I said that a lot of, uh, you know, other, other lecturers are doing, uh, are doing the online teaching, online learning, online lecturing. Uh, and uh, they and the students are, you know, uh, having it, you know, uh, you know, just one style of delivery. So I want to actually introduce another aspect of, of, of you know, how you can actually approach this teaching and learning within this confined kind of like a situation. All right. And also this is, this is a double, double uh, kind of like a purpose because this uh, course, the KPD 3016, is designed for teaching them how to actually plan a lesson, plan, uh, uh, you know, a well-planned lesson. So this, the whole semester is, actually, is also um, a lesson for them to actually uh, be creative in terms of, you know, coming up with lesson like, lessons ideas, all right? So some takeaways points. Uh, first is consider students' interest, okay? Uh, because, uh, oh, uh, the lecturers, we can't actually just focus on our content, delivering the content. We also have to actually uh, take into account students' interests because, you know, um, uh, I think uh, all of you know the motivation is one of the key components in driving students' uh, you know, um, uh, progress, uh, performance and things like that. So we need to actually motivate students uh, and within this mediated environment the online learning uh, you know a lot of uh, tacticity of uh, teaching and learning is, is uh, are missing you know, presence for example social presence is very low and and, and and so on and so forth so this is something that we need to also work on uh, understand and use latest subculture and references and this is something that i have been using i'm uh, i've used uh, memes with the I've used references like Among Us. Uh, Among Us is a game that is that that is uh, you know the youth nowadays are uh, you know into. So uh, when I use the references in Among Us, you know the students are very much excited. They said, oh, "Okay, this uh, lecture is very hip." <laughs> okay, and understand students' workload from other classes and consider making the task as flexible as possible without sacrificing quality. So this is something that the students will enjoy and will appreciate. All right. I think uh, for the last point is have fun. All right. Thank you so much. That's my sharing.